What's up everybody, my name is Victor Edeji and I'm going to show you how to get Zoho Mail emails in your mobile app. So previously I showed you first how to get a business email. So check that out if you haven't seen it. Then I showed you how to actually get emails to get it and send emails with the Zoho Mail website section. And now I'm gonna show you how to do it on your mobile app. So if you have an Android phone or an iPhone, you can do this. I use the iPhone, so I'm gonna show you how to do it from the iPhone. So stay tuned, because you definitely do not want to miss this. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is you wanna to go to your app store. And then in your app store, you wanna to go to search. So click on search on the bottom right. And you wanna type in Zoho Mail and then click on search and then look for it says Zoho mail email and calendar so you want to install that now, I've already installed it before but I uninstalled it for this video purposes and so let me actually go ahead and get it and it is going to download so for Android it's a similar to go to Google Play Store but on iPhone you will go to the App Store so go to open so now I'm in my Zoho Mail app and you want to sign in. So click on sign in. And then after you sign in, it's gonna ask you for your Zoho information. So this is where you type in the new email that you have. So mine was info at comprandom.com, which is short for completely random. But I called it comprandom because completelyrandom.com was not available and I did have a video showing how to do that, how to get your own domain name. So anyway, go there and then hit your password, make sure it goes in. All right, so once that is there, you are basically in your account. So customize privacy and security settings, all right, and then click there, so this is new. You want them to send you notifications, allow notifications, because that is basically how you would get your emails or you would know that your emails are there. So once that is done, go and click on the arrow on the top left next to privacy on, and security. So click on the arrow. Now you are in your Zoho um, app and you scroll up and this is all the accounts. Now the way I saw this is on the bottom right where it says settings, you want to click on settings and these are all the accounts that is there. And, and you can add multiple Zoho accounts. So if you have multiple emails, free business emails that you got from Zoho, you can click add account and you can add more accounts here. It doesn't have to be from the same domain name. It could be any domain name. As long as it's set up on Zoho, you can do it from your mobile app and you can have multiple accounts. So that's a great thing that you can have. All right, so from here, I'm going to click on mine that says comp random info. Yours would obviously be different. So click on that one on user accounts. Over here, where it says streams, scroll down where it says streams, you want to basically disable streams. You don't want that. And then for signature, make sure use desktop signature is checked. Make sure that's checked and you use the same signature that you use on your desktop computer. And to know what signature I use, I have a video that I showed how to do that. And that is also in the description. So check that out. And then from here, you want to, where it says sync desktop settings, you want to sync all three of these. So say yes, sync calendars, and sync other desktop settings. So basically, this actually syncs all the settings that you had from your desktop version of Zoho and it will go on your mobile version. You definitely want to do that. Then once that is done, go back and click the arrow next to comp random info, the arrow on the top left, click there. And then on the bottom left, where it says email, click where it says email. And this is now where you will see all of your emails right here. Where it says views, I would just click on the word views. I don't need that but where it says folders, this is how you can check your emails. And if you want to switch between different accounts, you can click where it says info or your email is going to be different. And this is how you can switch between different accounts. Right now I only have one, but if I was to click on inbox, this is the email that I sent before. And I have a late email actually that says new sign in to your Zoho account. So it shows that you recently signed in. 
So you definitely want to check that out. This is an email that I sent to myself. The latest email will come on the top on mobile devices. So that is how it is. I know on desktop, the latest email will be at the bottom, but on mobile, it will be at the top. And if you want to reply to this, you will click on the reply button next to where it says completely random for me. You see this little arrow that says reply. You can click that and you can just reply right there. And now it kept the signature that I had on the mobile device, sorry, on the desktop device that I set up for Zoho and then I can just say anything I want. So anything I want. All right, and then that is that. And then click on done. And then on the top right, click on send. You can even add an attachment. So click on return and click on this paper clip on the top right. That allows you to attach an image. The paper clip is right next to the send button. And then right next to the send button, these three dots, you can send later if you want. You can insert template and signatures and stuff like that. But let me just send this right now. And this is going to my main email. And as you can see, that's what it shows in the latest view right here. You can also go back. Let me actually go back twice to go back to my main page. I'm still in my email view. And if I want to write a brand new email, I would just click on, I think I sent myself an email, but I'm not even sure what I just did. On the top right, it shows this pencil with a pad. You click there and this is how you can send a brand new email to anyone you want. And then after you write it, you can send it. And that's that. That is your app right there that you have. Let me cancel this. And that's the app that you have. And so now you can send and receive emails with the Zoho app. Usually you can just go back to your main page. That is your Zoho mail right there. Anytime a new mail comes, you will have this notification there. You click there and then you can see your inbox and you can see what has happened right there. And that's it. You just set up your Zoho email on your app. You can now get and receive emails anytime you want. And if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments and hopefully I'll be able to address them. My name is Victor Ideji and I'm out.